you've probably heard of lots of hints and tips on how to improve your sleep. Things like avoiding your phone before bedtime, or indeed setting a really good sleep routine. The challenge is, how do these things actually work? I'm Professor Jason Ellis, I'm a sleep expert, and I'm gonna to explain to you why some of these techniques actually are very helpful. Let's start with those electronics. The main challenge with electronics is they produce blue light. And blue light actually suppresses melatonin, which is a hormone which tells us it's time to go to bed. The main challenge with that, of course, is if we're using our electronics in the evening, well, we lose those signals to go to bed. So it's a really good idea to reduce the amount of electronics you're using about an hour or so before you really want to get into bed and sleep comfortably. Let's talk about caffeine and alcohol. It's very logical in terms of caffeine that it will help you get through the day. The challenge is, is it actually can stay in the body for quite a while. Now, that's okay during the daytime, but when you're getting ready for bed, if you've still got caffeine in the system, it's gonna make it more difficult to get off to sleep at night. So we talk about avoiding caffeine from the early afternoon onwards. And what about alcohol? Alcohol is a sedative, and so it may seem like a good option. The challenge with alcohol is it will put you off to sleep, but the sleep that you get will be very, very poor in terms of its quality. You'll wake up a lot in the night. You may not even remember it, but you will feel it the next day. What about those worries and anxieties? These are things that can actually intrude on the sleep itself. You may not be able to stop thinking. A really good strategy is a couple of hours before you want to go to bed, let's write a list of things that worry you, that concern you. By putting those things into a diary, it's gonna leave you with more control, a feeling that you can accomplish the rest of your day and then go to sleep at night. Now, of course, if I'm to give you just one thing to take away, one top tip, it would generally be one bad night does not insomnia make. It's quite normal to have a bad night. The challenge comes because what we try to do about it can actually make it worse and keep it going. So just ignore it. It was just one bad night. I'm Professor Jason Ellis. Thank you for watching. Hope those tips were really helpful and you get to put them into practice tonight.